Uh, hey everyone, Scott of the Scott Man, and welcome back to another edition of Michigan Off the Beaten Path. It's been a while since I filmed the last one when I went up to some villages up in the Thumb, like like uh, Kendy, Owendale, and Elkton. But we're here closer to Metro Detroit this time, but not necessarily in it. So we're here to check out two different communities out here in Livingston County, Michigan. So we are going to be checking out Pickney and Fowlerville today. So as you can tell, we're starting our video here in the beautiful village of Pickney. It's located right along here on M36, which is the main highway which goes through the little downtown area of the, of the village. Back in the 1830s, a man named William Kirkland, who was a, a principal at a school in Detroit, he, he, he wanted to come out to the country and, and he ended up uh, having land planted out here. And it was given to him by Colonel Peterson, who was the founder of Livingston County. And Pickney was named after his, his brother, Charles Pickney Kirkland. As you can tell, there are a lot of great local restaurants here in Pickney. Uh, normally I, I go inside to enjoy some delicious food, but it's a beautiful day today. It's almost it's gonna be supposed to be near 70 degrees Fahrenheit or like around 21 degrees Celsius. So why not get a carry out and eat at Town Square Park today? Let's change it up a little bit. So I'm gonna get some food from Go Taco across the street. I've heard they have some delicious tacos in there. So I'm gonna order a carry out and Bring the food out here. But yeah, with a lot of great local restaurants, you, you gotta get out there and support your local businesses. All right, <laughs> so I figured, yeah, change things up a little bit today. So I'm, I'm basically gonna be having a little bit of carry out. Got three tacos from Go Taco. Got three tacos here. Got the got the original taco with pork. Also got a barbecue taco with chicken, and then a what's called the pirate fish taco. It's called pirate fish taco because the the mascot for the high school here in Pickney is the pirate or pirates. <laughs> and it's a little breezy, so this is going to be a little challenging, but we're up for the challenge, aren't we? All right, so I should probably use a little bit of hand sanitizer really quick because my hands are gonna get a little messy and I wanna make sure my hands are a little sanitized right now so that way I don't catch any type of virus or anything like that. So, all right, so I'm gonna try a couple different of the bites of these tacos and they're looking good, but I better eat them quick because this wind is probably cooling them down fast. All right, so this is the original taco and, ooh, this looks good. Hopefully this isn't too much food. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh wow, these are amazing tacos. Got some pork in it, it's like, ugh. Great juicy flavor with the, of course the, the pico de gallo is amazing with it, nice and fresh, Oh. All right, I'll take a bite of the pirate fish taco. Mm -mm. These are amazing. And then take a bite of this barbecue taco. Looks like they uh -oh, put some spinach on it too. Mmm. These tacos are so good. These are amazing, yeah. Okay, if you're looking for great food here in Pickney, Michigan, definitely check out Go Taco. Their tacos are amazing. I love tacos, don't you? Those tacos are absolutely delicious. Oh yeah. <laughs> Gotta love having tacos out in the sunshine. I know from experience because I did that when I went to that food truck in Moab, Utah last month. 
All right, but yeah, there's more to Pigney than just the the downtown area of the village. Cause yeah, I need to work off those tacos. So there's a really cool hiking trail I'll show you. All right, we're here just north of the village of Pickney, along D19 or Pickney Road. And we're here at Mike, uh, Mike Levine Lakelands Trail State Park. It is a 34 mile long trail, which goes all the way from like just east of Hamburg Township, all the way out to Stockbridge, Michigan, with Pickney pretty much being right in the center. So yeah. <laughs> I need to work off those tacos. We're, we're gonna head that way down the trail for a little bit. Yeah, this is an absolutely beautiful trail. I've been really enjoying this so far. But on a day like today, this is the perfect day to go out for a walk or go for a bike ride. But yeah, Pigney is a very, very nice village. But yeah, what's nice about Pigney is that it's pretty far away from downtown Detroit, or even a little bit away from Ann Arbor, but at the same time, it's not like you're not terribly far. You can probably get into the Detroit area in a matter of maybe 45 minutes to an hour. But yeah, just gotta love this warm weather we're in, we're seeing right now. But yeah, just just gotta just gotta love this, Michigan at its finest. And what's cool too is that although we're well past peak right now, there's still a little bit of fall color left to enjoy. All right, so the next point of interest I want to show really quick, really quick before I leave Pickney is about a few miles east down the trail. And we've made it a few miles east along the trail. All right, I cheated. I, I got back in my car and I just drove over here, but. <laughs> so anyway, I'm a few miles to the east of downtown Pickney. I'm over at the intersection of M36 and Pettysville Road. This is another little, not trailhead, but at least a parking area for the trail we were just on. And one thing I'll point out over there, that is a very popular ice cream place called Cap and Frosty. They have some really good ice cream there. Unfortunately, it's already late fall, so they're closed for the year. Pickney, Michigan might be a small village located off the beaten path. However, three big athletes have, have come out from Pickney, including a wrestler Chris Sabin, a famous D D Detroit pitcher Danny McLean, who, who pitched for the Tigers when they went to the World Series and won it back in 1968, and also, and currently active in sports just like Chris Saban. I also have de defensive end Z Zach Sealer who plays for the Miami Dolphins. He's also from Pickney as well. And a little fun fact, uh, a, a couple of my cousins uh, went to school with them ba back in the day. <laughs> it's a small world after all. All right, so I'm back in the car. So it's time for us to head out of Pickney. Yeah, I really enjoyed my visit here in Pickney. Got to walk around the, the village and also get some delicious tacos for carry out and eat them at the park on such a beautiful day like today even go for a little walk on Lakelands Trail. All right so let's head to Fowlerville. now and sorry to see a little bit more well let's just say uh, civilization because we got a bunch of fast food restaurants gas stations even a Walmart out here <laughs> And we've made it to, to uh, Fowlerville. 
Nice village here in the western end of Livingston County. It is a little breezy right now, but no worries. But anyway, Fowlerville was founded back in 1836 by Ralph Fowler. He came out from Livingston County, New York. And this is Livingston County, Michigan. How about that? <laughs> but yeah, the, the village was officially planted back in 1849 and it was in, incorporated as a village about 22 years later. Another fun fact too is that another Detro famous Detroit athlete, Charles Geringer, was from Fowlerville. He, he used to play for the Tigers from 1924 to 1942 and was even a part of the the World's the World Series winning team back in 1935 when one of the years when the Tigers won it. Now if only the Tigers can win a World Series now. They still got some rebuilding to do though, but but yeah, let's go explore Fowlerville. Not only Fowlerville has a lot of great shops and restaurants right in town, but it also has a couple of very nice parks as well. Over here, this is Centennial Park, very close to the downtown area, just going north just a little bit on Grand Avenue. And there's also another park that's a little bit further north on Grand Avenue, which we'll check out, and we'll also conclude this video over there. Just gotta love community parks like this one. This is Fowlerville Community Park. This is a much larger park compared to Centennial Park further south on Grand Avenue. A lot of open fields here. Even I even see a baseball diamond out that way. A lot of picnic tables and there's even a playground for kids too. Although I'm not gonna show them on camera anything, you could probably hear them though. <laughs> but, but yeah, it's been such a beautiful day today. Exploring not only Pickney, but also also uh, Fowlerville. But those are two great villages to check out here in Livingston County, Michigan, which are I would consider off the beaten path. There are people around Metro Detroit who may have heard of both Pickney and Fowlerville, but many people who, who come into Michigan probably never have heard of these villages before. But yeah, definitely check them out and for that great small town feeling. You just you just gotta love it. And also. Had some delicious tacos back at Goat Taco and Pickney. Support your local businesses because they produce some of the most amazing food and it helps 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 keep them going too. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this edition of Michigan Off the Beaten Path. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to uh, click that subscribe button to uh, come along and join me for the adventure. And uh, don't forget to click that notification bell so that way you know when a new video goes live. Well, thank you for watching, and this is Scott, or the Scott Man, signing out.